We've been engaged in negotiations for a new contract with Disney since August of 2022. And on January 9th of this year, Disney World provided the union with its best contract offer, which union members will be voting on February 2nd and February 3rd. After a review of the current offer, the bargaining committees of every STCU affiliate are unanimous in recommending that members vote no to reject the company's offer. The company's offer would provide only a dollar per hour increase for over 30,000 STCU members in each year of the proposed contract term. And the union has been clear from our very first bargaining session that a dollar in the first year is not enough. A dollar in the first year does not even keep up with the record inflation that Disney workers are experiencing. We need to say no to this company because we are here every day. We have to work overtime in order to make our rent. We have to work overtime in order to be able to buy bread or eggs. Not go out to eat, not have a party, the bare necessities of life. I have friends leaving because they can't afford the rising costs of rent, groceries, gas bills. Everything is becoming more expensive, but our income hasn't changed. We started working for Disney because we are this passionate about it, but plain and simple, we can't afford it anymore. The rising cost of the parks has become more expensive, but there has been zero reflection of that in our wages. All of our bills have increased. Our rent has increased, wages have not. My rent alone last year in the time span of six months went up three times. I'm currently waiting for my landlord now to tell me how much more it's gonna go up. It's not just me that I'm you know, going to work for, it's, it's for my family. And the raise would mean so much to us because it would just make the company show that they're taking care of us because we took care of them. And it's time for them to realize that they need to take care of, of us, the people that bring the magic to the guests every single day.